So programming languages can fit broadly into one of two different types, either high level language or a low level language. And we're going to cover the difference between the two in sort of the characteristics, what features um, each of them has now. So let's cover, oh, let's do high level to begin with, okay? Um, so high level languages are meant to be human readable languages. So let me give you some examples of them. We've got uh, Python, that's one that you may have uh, used or seen or been heard referred to. Uh, we've got C Sharp, that's a common high level language as well. Visual Basic, that's a fairly common one. Um, so all these ones, all these languages, JavaScript and the like, they all have words in them and that is a key feature of high level languages okay they are human readable the idea is that i can take some python code um, and some c sharp and i can read parts of it at least um, out loud and the reason why they're human readable um, is because they've got words in it so they use actual words let's give some examples of this at the bottom so uh, for example some python code here let's do print um, and then we can say hello world after a little bit of syntax. So you've got like that, that um, what's it, um, parentheses and the speech marks after it. So you have a little bit of syntax in it, but you can see we're using the word print. That means to print to screen. Uh, and then we've got hello world. We've got what we want printed to screen. It's fairly readable by humans. Great thing about high level languages is that they are portable between different types of computer. Now, what that means um, is that I can take the same high level languages, so maybe this code at the bottom here, and I can uh, translate it to uh, to be used on different types of computer. So that could be a, a Mac or a PC. It's the same code that's driving it. And that could save programmers a lot of time because you're then only writing one set of code for, well, all types of computer in theory. But because we're dealing with words here, it's important to understand that the code needs to be translated into something the computer can understand because the computer doesn't understand words, it only understands binary. So there has to be this process of translation and the code needs to be translated into machine code before it can actually be run by a computer. So that's the basics of high level languages, but we need to cover low level languages as well. So here we go. Uh, two main types of low-level languages. Uh, we're either talking about machine code itself, so that is a sequence of sort of zeros and ones, or we're talking, um, so when I say zero and ones, you're talking about binary code, or we're talking about assembly. Um, so, so here is machine code here at the bottom. So zero, zero, one, do a byte of it, okay? And I'm going to assume you don't know what that means. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure what it means. It may mean a number or something. I can definitely work out what the value is. But I don't know, if that was an instruction to the computer, I wouldn't know what it was. Certainly not off the top of my head. It's not human readable. It uses these things in binary instructions, okay? That is a big difference between high level and low level code to begin with. And there, it's not really meant for humans. It's meant for computers. So this is the language that computers understand. It's not high level language, it's low level language or machine code. And because this is the language which is understood and run by computers and processes, it's specific to a type of machine. So I cannot take the same low level language the um, same, same low-level code, sorry, that I'm using for a PC and just expect that to run on a Mac. The, the process is different. It won't work. It won't be able to understand it. Finally, if we are talking about machine code, then it doesn't need to be translated. Uh, and that, you know, that, that saves us some time. Now, like I say, when we're talking about low-level code, we're often talking about machine code, but we could be talking about assembly. And all that assembly is, is that it might be like a small word like this called a mnemonic uh, and then some hexadecimal or some other sort of um, value afterwards. And all that's doing is taking sort of the first part of a binary instruction and putting a word in it to make it slightly more human readable. Um, but still, it's when you, when you see assembly, it's not quite easy. Well, it's really not easy to understand what's going on. But there you go. There are main differences then between high level languages and low level languages. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.